All right. Hello, YouTube. Thanks for joining our Twitch stream. We are 10 minutes into the stream. Ha ha. Look at all you missed. That's not that much. But you should still come join us, if you can, while we're live. We appreciate the company here. Seems like a quiet chat to start tonight. I assume it won't stay that way. Based on recent experience, <clears throat> there's always some activity in the chat recently. It's actually more... It's actually less... Well... How do I want to say it? God, can't make up my mind. So it's actually more common for there to be activity in the chat than for there to be a quiet chat. So, hey, quiet viewers, I see you, and I still appreciate you. Thanks for watching. We're doing part 57 of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <clears throat> my first play through this game after playing Assassin's Creed 1 through Syndicate twice and Origins once. You're now playing Odyssey once and then Valhalla once. Looking to finish the series. Well, then, by then Mirage will probably be out, so we might just jump right into that. Who, who the hell knows? I mean, this game is so long. Apparently Valhalla is also pretty damn long. <clears throat> so, I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I have a quiet chat, so I may, I may have to decide for myself. But we have character quests that we can do. And that's typically where I start now, now that we've finished exploring and collecting everything, and we've tidied up a lot of the miscellaneous quests. Um, I've got to do this puzzle at some point. I just didn't feel like figuring it out. I tell you, picked on. I'll do that at some point. <laughs> Someday. <clears throat> okay. Corinthia, that's hey, that's where we were. We could do that. Why does this have an exclamation point over it? Did that yesterday too. Well, it's, I guess it never went away. All right, we are in Corinthia. I guess we'll do the top quest, top character quest. Becky! 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 Sorry. See, these are the things the, the quiet chat gets. I start going crazy when I don't have people chatting, apparently. My bad. <laughs> I thought uh, thought Becky would have no problem with that. <laughs> so, chat, how are you? I don't think you'll answer me if you're not writing already. Anyway, but how are you, chat? I'm doing okay. <clears throat> I suppose I've had a good day. You saved me. What are they looking for? Anyway, I had a pretty productive day at work. Tomorrow should wrap up most of the important tasks that I actually need to do for the week, which is nice. Just between today and tomorrow. So, um, 
that means I have the flexibility to use the rest of the week as I see fit, which is nice. I kind of need that time, I guess, for something that's happening at work in about a week and a half, I think. So. Also, I, uh, I don't think I've announced this on stream, but hey, quiet viewers, I guess you get to be the first to hear. Um, I've started to slowly dip my foot back into the world of online, well, dating, I should say. But of course I'm doing online dating, because who am I kidding? I'm not, I don't go anywhere. I'm st I stream every night. <laughs> I spend more time with you guys. Um, so yeah, fun fact. I, I, I won't talk too much about it, but... Since I know she doesn't watch me yet, at, at least. At least I'm relatively confident she doesn't watch me. <laughs> and I, I, I say yet as if she's gonna watch me. Sorry, I shouldn't even say that. Please, stranger. I don't think I can walk. You are so out there. Yeah. No. But yeah, I won't say too much about it, you know, out of respect for privacy and stuff. But I can at least say how I feel about it. And maybe some generic details, but... Um, Just take me to my father's house. So we've had our... Uh, we've been taking it a little slow. Uh, I'm taking it so slow that I'm not even talking to anyone else, even though there's been no agreement to be exclusive or anything. <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, ah, I only have the IRG to to do this with one person <laughs> at a time. I'm not in a rush to be with anyone. So as soon as I found someone who seemed kinda cool, I kinda stopped looking. Until I see how it turned out, I guess. Um, so anyway, we've been talking for a couple of weeks. Um, slowly turned into exchanging numbers and then texting and then we've had a couple of phone calls now. So we're basically an hour long each. Actually, which is probably a good sign if we were able to just talk and nothing else for an hour both times. Um, interestingly, it's interesting to watch to watch in real time. No, <laughs> it's interesting to see how it's affecting my mood and my perception of things. Man, I think I'm just someone who likes being with someone. It doesn't feel right to me if I'm. Uh, if I'm single for too long. I think just feel right if I have a partner, I feel like. Sorry, I have to sneeze, hang on. Okay. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm starting to... starting to like this person the more we talk, slowly. Um, I would like to meet them in person at some point in the near future, so hopefully we can make that happen. But. Um, it's honest, she, honestly, she sounds like the most grown up, responsible person and coolest person I've ever dated, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> but I really just. Wait, what's here? Oh, his body. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot. Um, because, yeah, she's. I mean, she's independent. She can. She can pay for her bills herself, her damn self. <laughs> um, she, uh, she's dealt with some shit in her life, so she and I have that in common. I would say more so than most people our age. We're both in our mid thirties. So, uh, we've both dealt with some serious shit. We had uh, well we had some conversations along I'm those lines today, where we kind of got to learn that about each other. But, yeah, sorry, I'm ignoring the quest, I know. This guy sucks, who cares? Um, no, I'll wait. Father's dead. What? He was killed a few days ago by little bandits. And this is how you tell me? I need to prepare for the burial. I suggest you do the same. For saving my brother. If you're as tough as you look, I could use your help with something else before you go. Can you believe him? 
He seemed more mad than upset. Ever since Timotheus returned from the war, he's been different. He fought for Athens? For a little while. So did my pater. Now they're both fishermen. Or my pater was, I guess. Give him time. I'll leave the brooding to Timotheus. You're a mercenary, right? I want vengeance on my pater's killers. <sighs> Haven't you had enough bloodshed for one day? That's why I'm hiring a Mystios to do the fighting for me. And my brother said he could use your help too. All right, I'll stay and help. How should I track down the bandits Timotheus mentioned? Their hideout is rumored to be just west of here, in the ruined temple of Zeus. I'll make sure the bandits pay for what they did. Okay, so getting back to my praise of this this girl Timotheus, I'm starting to date. My oh, father served in on. the Athenian military. He deserves a proper military barrier in his Athenian army. But that armor was stolen from our home not that long ago. You want me to get it back? No. My father said he saw the thief running out of town after he stole it. But the merchant should have some Athenian armor. Tell him it's for Diocles' burial. They were friends. I'll get the armor for your father's burial. Okay, now back to what I was saying about the girl I'm starting to date. Yeah, she's in, she's independent. She can support herself. She has her own interests. She's she's into like sharing interests, but having her own interests, you know, spending time together, but have her alone time to things. I'm totally on the same page with, which is cool. Um, but my comment earlier about um, it's been interesting seeing how I don't know my perception of things changes while this happening. Like I feel like discovered leader. This can't be real. I think leaders just reappear. Right? They have to. They have to reappear. No one told me this. Most of all my Assassin's Creed Odyssey viewers that... Maybe they don't even know how it works. God. <laughs> anyway, it's... it's it's It would be cool to... Well, sorry. It is cool to be dating someone like that. Because <laughs> both of my f previous serious relationships were with <laughs> women that uh, struggled with being independent for various reasons. My late wife was... I've talked about this on stream. She dealt with severe depression and anxiety. Multiple suicide attempts until one that was successful. Blah, 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 blah. Um... And then, so she couldn't really hold a job and, and shit like that. There's a lot of, a lot that went along with that. And then my ex, <laughs> who I broke up with last year, she, uh, deals, I, I mean, it's not something that goes away. She deals with borderline personality disorder, which was tough for me to deal with because it felt like I was being abused a lot of the time when I was with her. Like, I, I didn't realize it right away, but eventually did. <laughs> Just because... If you don't know what borderline is, you experience basically emotions to a thousand percent, um, and that, in its most obvious form, that manifests itself in the form of anger. That's that's what stands out the most because that's what ruins <coughs> people who have BPD. That's what ruins their relationship with other people is when their anger kind of comes out because they they experience it so strongly they just they can't really control it. Uh, but it's hard not to take it personally when you're on the receiving end of it, especially for long. Like even in, even when you get it, even when you understand, um, if it happens for such a long amount of time, um, I don't know. It takes its toll. <laughs> you can't help but start to take it personally. The stomach. I, I feel like I don't know. Because they'll find things, like, they want to hurt you when they're angry sometimes. Like, they want to say something that really hurts you, or... They want to dig that knife real deep. If they can. And in that moment, in that heated moment. Um, so, people who have it, who deal with it appropriately, learn how to manage 
there's they start to feel when the emotions are overcoming them they start to do things to mitigate it they, they learn some coping mechanisms basically um my ex never really did that even though i communicated to her many times about how i needed that <laughs> to keep going it was no secret <laughs> still no secret <laughs> it's I, I told her it's the reason we broke up last year. It's the reason I gave her. It's like, listen, this is, this is why I have to do this. <laughs> like, I, I, you know you're cool, but I think we're just better off as friends. Like, that was the conclusion I came to. So. Yeah. So we broke up. But yeah, I've been with people who, and like, she, that, well, the point of that was she had a hard time maintaining her job as well, being independent. Like, they both lived with their parents before I was in the picture. My wife eventually moved in with me into an apartment. My girlfriend never, my ex, a girlfriend, never moved in with me, though she did start spending a lot of time at my apartment at one point, which I had no problem with at one point. <laughs> Um, but it eventually started to become too much. She was there all the time. I never had a moment to myself. It was, it quickly became all about considering her all the time in addition to myself. Like, I was no longer living alone. It's like, every, everything I did or thought of, I had to consider how she would feel or react. I was like, this is what it was like living with, hey, <laughs> last time I felt this way I was married. What the hell? <laughs> So, like, we had to have a weird conversation. Like, I had to ask her to stop spending literally every second of every day at, at my apartment when she wasn't working. But she jumped from job to job because she would get mad. And, like, she would she would lie about the story. I, I mean, I know it now. She would totally lie about what happened and, like, blame the people at her work for doing something unfair. Just, man, those dumbasses. Like, they, they let this happen, but then they do this. Like, she... <laughs> she would have a justification for everything, but I knew deep down, I was like, I've been dating you, I'm sure you got angry and you said something and it just escalated and you just left, and you quit, basically. And that was just all the time with her and jobs. Oh, we could kill this guy? So, I, d I, do, I do still have some love for my ex. Just as a person, she wasn't a bad person. <laughs> Some people thought she was or got unjustifiably angry at her. Sometimes. <laughs> I have a couple friends I'm a little disappointed with how they handled her occasionally. <laughs> but, like, she needed friends and people who kind of understood that patience. Like, there were a couple of my friends who were like that, and they are really good about that. Um, so I, I appreciated them for that. Kind of, kind of showed me like the difference between some of my friends. It, it was one of those defining moments in my life where you see, like, you kind of see your friends for who they are in some ways. <laughs> like in those moments of difficulty, you see, you, you kind of see what what they're made of, you know. Like, are they really willing to be a friend, or are they gonna, I don't know, crap out? And kind of handle it shittily. Unfortunately, I have friends who I still think are good friends. Well, <laughs> yeah, that I don't know. Didn't necessarily <laughs> act in the most mature way in that regard, but I still respect them because they, I don't know, they're so they're cool and mature in other ways. But I was a little disappointed in how they handled stuff with my ex when uh, <laughs> when they knew we were together and that they could always talk to me sometimes they just didn't which uh i don't know it's something i'll forgive but not forget i guess unfortunately <laughs> it's one of those things uh, i'm a little disappointed you had a chance to be a good person here could have just communicate in fact i kind of stopped interacting with one friend because of partially that but partially because i don't know He's someone who likes to talk down to you and like constantly question you or tell you you're wrong or correct you or whatever. Was, like, I got tired of it eventually. <laughs> hint, hint, that's part of the reason we don't do four player plus players on this channel four. anymore, really. Here's the Athenian armor. This works. We'll be able to give him a proper burial after all. Every warrior should be buried in their nation's colors. Yes, that's true. 
Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Now I just need an offering of oil for the ceremony. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It means a lot. I should go dress my father. Mistios! Any news? I took care of the bandits, Likinos. Ah. I can breathe easier knowing my pater has been avenged. There's no chance those Malakas had any explanation for their heinous actions. I didn't find out why. All the same, I'll rest easier knowing they can't hurt anyone else. Thank you, Cassandra. Now you can focus on mourning. I should probably let Timotheos know about this. If you're staying for the burial, I'm sure an offering of wine would mean a great deal to my pater. Timotheus asked me to pick up oil as well. Where can I find the offerings? He did? I mean, you should be able to find what we need at the docks. I'll be back soon. But yeah, because my late wife and my ex couldn't really support themselves. I don't know. Like, those have been my two most significant, long-spanning relationships. Adult relationships. I mean... So... Everything else is kind of secondary to those, so... But that's what I've, I've been used to, so... God, it would, it would be something else to have an actual man, functioning, independent woman. God. It seems like such a tall order. <laughs> Can I have someone who isn't like drowning in depression or or refusing to deal with their extreme borderline personalities? Or can I can I have someone who like at least has their shit together and is managing it to some extent <laughs> before I get bogged down into their shit? Like at least start taking care of yourself before you get with me please can i have someone who has it sorted together like that that would be really nice that's why i'm kind of partly why i'm excited about this also she just seems kind of cool in general i told her during the phone call today that she, i was like you're cooler than i am <laughs> she was like i don't know about that <laughs> i was like ah, i do well i didn't say that but i was honestly thinking about it or thinking it It'll be trouble if I spot it here. but it is cool that she said that because I feel like she's sincere. She seems genuinely interested in... I don't know. Despite the fact that she seems cooler than me. I, I, I almost want to say she seems like more grown up than me, but that's such a dumb thing to say. For someone like me. The shit I've been through. But, I don't know, she was through some life, life-threatening shit, I, I, in a, which, you know, by its nature is life-changing, I'm sure, so. I like we both kind of realized, <laughs> like my story about just my wife and her killing herself and my brother dying. And, uh, she had her own stories. It's like, damn, we've both been dealt some shit. We've both been dealt some hands by life, huh? So we had a laugh about that. And she, like, she said something that I had thought, but hadn't, hadn't said yet. But it's funny because I had had the thought. And she's like, she's like, and I, and I get that, you know, people are, who, nobody's, like, she, she talked about how she was, when she was in her early 20s, she cared so much about body image and stuff like that, appear, you know. <laughs> um, but that, now she's in her 30s, she kind of gets that, you know, not everyone's perfect, everyone's gonna, people, some people are gonna be overweight, some people are gonna, this, that, you know, like, some people are gonna deal with, I don't know. <laughs> Some people aren't gonna look as good. Some people aren't gonna gain weight. Is there's gonna be a lot of like sh she kind of gets that, which is nice. And so I, you know, I made the comments. Yeah, it is nice to kind of have somebody who, like I'm used to being with someone who's like both of my both my wife and my ex um, were six to seven years younger than me. So it, I always felt like I was old comparatively. <laughs> a 
there are always times where I notice a generational gap. Like, like my late wife Aubrey would talk about, um, I don't know, like Spongebob, for example, I was like, oh, that was kind of beyond, that was kind of a little after my time, though I think Roger would disagree. But <laughs> Roger would also be lying about the fact that he didn't enjoy it. <laughs> that it, He'd be lying about the fact that he absolutely was too old for it when it started coming out. I mean, I, again, it has appealed to, uh, to an older audience, but... <laughs> At the end of the day... Hey. <laughs> hey, Raj. Hey, good timing. <laughs> Uh, I was talking about Spongebob <laughs> as an example of something that I was a little too late for, I think. And how you seem to enjoy it. I, I, I feel like you might disagree that maybe it was timely for us. I don't know. I, I feel like I might have been a little too old for it when it came out, even though it did have... I'm sure it has humor and stuff that did appeal to an older audience. And I've seen clips that kind of confirm that. But I was never a Spongebob fan. <laughs> I don't know, I was just tangenting from, uh, something, that's all. Oh, I don't know how much you watched it. I just remember you, yeah, I, I know you, like, <laughs> I think you're excited for the ride at Six Flags or something. I think that's the, that's the connection I have between you and Spongebob. <laughs> so, okay, I, maybe I thought you liked it more than you did. <laughs> I, I never actually asked you, I guess, so... <laughs> gotcha. So, so I think I was right then. I think it was kind of a little after our time, people our age. That's kind of what I was trying trying to say. I think it was like right as people our age were kind of done with cartoons to some extent. Likinos is right. The bandits needed to be stopped. Someone else's father probably just died because of you. <laughs> be your head next. Okay, I was I was you on the cartoon that, tangent, you? but sure, what? Barney. Yeah. Uh... No. Why would you say that? <laughs> You've been nothing but cruel to me since I got here. I'm sorry, Likinos. I just don't want to lose you too. We only have each other now that Potter's. Oh yeah, Power Rangers is just totally our, <clears throat> totally us. We should proceed with the burial. Did you find an offering? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I brought you both what you asked for. Then thank you from both of us. Yeah. I can thank Cassandra myself. And then all the classic gaming figures I from there. I father's journey across the sticks is peaceful. Likinos, come. We must prepare the altar. Sonic. In a moment. Yeah. I'd love to see you once more before you leave. <laughs> Please, find me after the ceremony. What, Animaniacs? See you around, Miss Dios. Animaniacs. Oh yeah, they were. <laughs> it's interesting talking about this shit with uh, <laughs> with the guys at my work. Oh nice, yeah, the last one turned out good. Oh, <laughs> we don't have to do it tonight. <clears throat> It's interesting talking with the guys at my work because we're all like different ages. It's it's so interesting. I feel I think we're all. It's it's almost it's almost like between the five of us, we each represent like a decade apart from each other, <laughs> and and I would be the second youngest. <laughs> so there's there's a dude who's like 22 I think, <clears throat> and uh, I I round I kind of curve up from there at 36. Um, <clears throat> Then uh, the next dude is 42, I believe. The next one is 50... God, what do you say? Three? And I think the next one is... He's a few years off for retirement. So he's like more like 60. 
so like there's like there's someone of like every there's someone in their 20s 30s 40s 50s and 60s pretty much <laughs> in my office so it's always super interesting to, like when you talk about like pop culture shit and random shit like that but it is funny how much we all have in common though over here do you have a moment i was hoping to have the chance to thank you for all you've done what did you have in mind oh it may be my day job but there's more to me than that I am also a very talented cook. Allow me to make you a fabulous meal. I'd like that. Great. There's just one thing. I'll need a little help hunting down some... Ah, uh, seriously? Literally. You're treating me, you said? After all we've been through together. Surely you can agree that I'm a lover, not a fighter. For how many bandits I've killed for you? It's pretty safe to say you're not a fighter. I have to compensate somehow. <laughs> what do you need me to hunt? This dish calls for venison. Any of the beasts wandering nearby should do. Meet me at the cliffs near the Ipernistra camp once you find some. And Power Rangers. <laughs> Was Raj mentioning that? Bringing up all kinds of memories. Best stay out of sight. I was really into the Power Rangers when it started, but that was that was very fleeting interest. I was like super into it for like a year or two when I was a kid. Then I dropped off of it like a rock. <laughs> I remember I had a crush on the Pink Ranger, Kim. Wait, am I am I where the objective was? It disappeared. I, I guess I am. It's just in this forest. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm not here to fight, but I'll kill you if you want to die. I mean... Man, I, uh, I know suicide by Cassandra is a thing. I just don't expect people to take advantage of it that often. It's like the ancient Greek version of suicide by cop. Alright, let's look for actual... Let's see. Deer meat. So... Oh no, he turned around. Oh no, I missed. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Bastard. I mean, I assume I... I... Oh, you're, you're a goat. Icarus wants to help. Oh, damn, Icarus. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess this is... Wait, oh, gather deer meat. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see if we get one here. Start. Okay. I, I wasn't sure if it would count as some, something separate from deer meat, like stag meat or something. I don't know. Like... <clears throat> but I guess we're good. Hey, shut up, guard. No one asks you. I didn't even hear what he said, to be honest. Man, there's no fast travel points right here. N nor were there right here. That means we have to use Becky, huh? Speaking of which, it should be right here, right? Where do you go, Becky? Ah, oh, there you are. Becky! Come on, we're helping these dumbass brothers right now. Let's finish helping them. <clears throat>
Yo, bro. Beautiful view. It certainly is. Did you manage to hunt down our food? Here's the meat. Perfect. I'll get started. Please, make yourself comfortable. That was delicious. I told you I could cook. Was the food worth it? A few deer are no match for a mighty Mistios. I wish I had your skill. And confidence. Fighter or not, I'm sure it takes a lot to be a renowned poet in Athens. I... Uh, may have exaggerated my accomplishments as a poet a bit earlier. The truth is... I'm not just home for a visit. I ran out of Drachmi in Athens. Why lie to your brother about this, or to me? Timotheus has always been my father's son. In every way. They both fought for Athens, they both worked in the family business. Timotheos's path was never for me, so I left for Athens to strike out on my own. You're afraid of what he'll think. He'll say it was irresponsible of me to leave in the first place. And he's right. I don't have any Rachmi, or means to earn it. If poetry really is your passion, then you should keep at it. If you really think so. You never answered my question, though. Why lie to me about your career? Isn't it obvious? I didn't want to appear a failure to you. From the moment I met you, I knew you were amazing. Might not see it yourself, but I think you're pretty amazing too. Even after everything I just told you? Likinos, I actually like you more for being honest with me. Really? Of course. I want to know the real you. Cassandra, ever since I met you, it's as if the Weaver of Wiles herself possessed me. I can hardly resist you. If Aphrodite is speaking, you should listen. <laughs> wow, Cassandra, holy shit. Even even in these scenes, she still surprises me sometimes. Anyway, viewers, that's uh, my thought about the person I'm dating. Now. <laughs> see if Raj is here. Test, test, test. Is there a small boat we can use to get across, or do we have to... Yeah, there's... Okay. Hey, bitch. Had my second phone chat with, uh... With a certain someone today. Really, Ryze, I'm leaving? What the hell, he's swimming? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that guy had to have just spawned in the water. There's no way anything else happened. <laughs> he had to have spawned in the water. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Huh. 
<laughs> yeah, it went pretty well, Raj. Sorry <laughs> for for the inappropriate tone of my response, but <laughs> yeah, it went pretty well. <laughs> All right, I gotta kill this guy just because of the effort he went through to swim back to here. <laughs> he deserves that much at least. My reward awaits. <laughs> But yeah, I'll tell you more details later if we have a chance to chat privately. But no, it, it definitely went pretty well. <clears throat> I don't think I should brave that water in this boat. This is where I used to practice sparring with my father. After he retired to the fishing business, he lost interest. But I kept up the practice on my own. Doesn't training on your own get lonely? Are you trying to goad me into a sparring match, mercenary? I might be interested in some friendly competition. I... don't think that's a good idea. Are you scared, Athenian? I just... fine. Let's spar. Let's see what you've got. Is that all you've got? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Filthy Spartans! Timotheus, are you okay? You fought well, Athenian. Timotheus? Timotheus! What are you doing? I... No! Stop! Stop! No! No! Stay back! Get away from me! I'll stay back, I promise. I don't know what I'll do if you get too close. You're not going to hurt me, Timotheus. You don't... You don't know that. I don't know if I could stop myself right now. Even if you did try to hurt me, I'm more than capable of fending you off. That's not... You're underestimating what I'll do when this happens. Timotheus. No, no, no! Stop! Stop! Just calm down. Like it's that fucking easy! You're safe, Timotheus. I promise. I need to be alone right now. I... I'm sorry. To check in on Timotheus and Likinos at their father's house. <clears throat> Someone has PTSD. Except there's probably not a name for that right now <clears throat> in this world. I was tempted to let him try to fight me, but I probably would have had to kill him. And if that means less XP, that's bad. Even though everyone knows I like killing whoever. I can't take a boat like this into deep water. And I say that knowingly. I think everyone knows I'm happy to kill whoever. I don't have strong attachments to anyone. Maybe maybe Barnabas. I mean he's he's my first mate or whatever. I can't just go executing every everyone who's on my ship, so 
I have to value some people. What's happened here? Whoever did this didn't take anything. Likinos, are you all right? They took him. The bandits who killed my butter took Timotheus. Where did they go? To the ruins of Mikine. Please, you have to help him. We have to get out of here. Timotheus?
Timotheus, it's over. Where are they? Cursed Spartan dogs, where are they hiding? You're safe, Timotheus. I promise. You! You're one of their spies! Timotheus! What are you doing? Likinos? I... I... I'm so sorry. I'm just glad you're all right. You saved us once again, mercenary. In more ways than one. The famed Eagle Bearer hasn't saved you just yet. It's nice to finally Sounds like I need to kill you first. Boys. Who are you? I'm dear Diocles's business partner. Or at least I was. Until I had to terminate our arrangement. You mean you had him killed? A last resort. Our partnership funded poor Diocles's gambling for years. His mistake was gambling not with Drachme he earned from me, but with Drachme he stole from me. You are lying! There's no way our pater would ever work with you! Believe what you want. It doesn't change the fact that Diocles screwed me over. You got your payment in Diocles' blood. What do you want with Likinos and Timotheus? Diocles may be dead, but I haven't received my drachmi yet. You expect me to pay? One way or another, yes. Enough! Let's finish this already! So be it. I'm always happy to end it with bloodshed. Thank you for saving me, Cassandra. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. I need to tell Cassandra something too. I'm sorry for running from you the other day. It wasn't how I really feel about you. I would never leave you. What I mean to say is I shouldn't have run from you when I want to be with you. I'm the only reason you even know each other. The fates have spoken. The gods brought us together. I feel it in the fiber of my soul. I just like you as friends. Both of you. I... see. If that's how you really feel... Well, thank you again for saving me. And for everything. Goodbye, I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick one of them. Fuck that. <clears throat> Alright, that's the character quest down. That leaves four, right? <laughs> yep. Cool. Progress. <clears throat> Alright. Just gotta figure out which uh, quests we're picking up in the main story from here. Seems like we're at the start of a new hub here. We either do Hippocrates or Xenia. Okay. I think he's closer, right? <laughs> yeah. So, alright. So I plan to do some story, but I don't know. Was, was Raj a little bitch and bailed? Oh. I think he's not here anymore. That bitch. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong in the response.
Yep, a little bit trash left. That's Hippocrates' clinic. All right, well, that's where we're going then, isn't it, Cassandra? So we want to do a little bit of the main story tonight. Even if not much, I don't think we'll finish the Hippocrates quests, but we could start them. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to finish the character quest before we finish the main story. So at some point, we're not going to have any choice but to do main story missions, <laughs> I suspect. some point pretty damn soon. I guess after the next four sessions, because I guess I've been doing one character quest per session. But before we get into this, I need some time AFK, so I'm going to hit escape right away as soon as the scene Look, moves. You Look, you had seen it. What? Yeah. Uh, since I'm back down to my silent years and bitch Raj left... Sorry, Raj. I'm, I'm, I keep saying that to try to draw your attention if you are here, because I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, I'm going to play some music, so enjoy as always. And I will see you on the other side.
insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patients. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. Back away Who from dares the boy. Threaten Slow the priestess me. of Ira. Now, step back. It seems the gods wish me to grant you and your master another chance. Very well. Tell Hippocrates that if he doesn't make a public show of respect to the gods, I will raise an army of believers against him. If the doctor can't think of a suitable offering, his head will do. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master, Hippocrates, of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services... don't come free. Here, take this. Though, perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's Watch, near the Cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. I might do this <clears throat> and call it for Assassin's Creed for the night. I'm not sure. Which wouldn't be a big deal. I, I'm i kind of, at this point, looking forward to being done with the character quests. Because if all I really have is the main story, that's a good place to be in. Because it means I have a main focus and I can sometimes sidetrack for side, side distractions. Nice. It really simplifies the game <laughs> to some extent. It's not like I'll have character quests and main story. Nope. J it'll just be main story. However, I'm not helping that goal right now by doing main story. <laughs> but I gotta do a little bit here and there. So I figure I'll talk to the, the guy. Oh, Ratis. Are you a hypocrite? Haha. -ha. I hope not. So we'll talk to him. I, I assume he'll give us, if not a quest, multiple quests. And I guess that's where I intend to quit for the night. Then we'll start again next session with another character quest. <laughs> After I barely doing exactly any story. But I don't have a lot of viewers, and my viewers do like story quests, especially Mia. So, I don't want to do too much without her. What has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes. I'm also very busy. I like this guy already. This is important. Where are all these people coming from, anyway? Patience, mercenary. 
They come from everywhere, but this is mostly overflow from the sanctuary of Asclepios. It's been crowded there since the war began, and with crowding comes sickness. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Cassandra of Sparta. What did you come here for, Cassandra of Sparta? Interesting that she identifies as Spartan, though. I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. I do like this guy. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. This is someone who's actually... <clears throat> Pays attention and bases his decisions in science and evidence. Oh, God, <laughs> it's sad that that's that such a thing. Such a rare thing to see back in the day, and strangely, it's becoming rarer these days because of uh, some people just trying to hide the truth. But let's not get into that. Instead. That's a good stopping point. Uh, we know we like that guy now, so I'm kind of excited to do that. But we'll still do, still do a character quest first next time. So thanks for watching. That was a good hour, I don't know, hour 15 minute session <clears throat> past the uh, Twitch intro and all. So thanks for watching, YouTube.